Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run a PlayStation 2 emulator, PCSX2, on your PC. So these are your minimum and recommended requirements for the, this project. And this will also work with a Windows 7 system. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is open up your internet browser and go to pcxs2.net forward slash downloads dot php I'll include the link in my video anyway so once here you want to go to pcsx2 0 0.98 installer and hit the download tab just here on the right you want to run or save if you like I'll just run We'll then come to a menu that looks like this, and you'll want to go through the installer. Once you've done so, you'll have the program installed. I already have, so I'm not going to bother with this step. You'll have a shortcut on your desktop here, PCSX2. So click this. So when the program is open, we'll then move here. This is the layout of PCSX 0.9.8. So you can configure most of your video settings, audio settings, which are others from here. As for video settings, go to plugin settings. You'll see how I have it set up here. and then move to audio notice I'm using number one one x reverb volume and number two direct sound I haven't touched latency any of these the controller plugin On controller and a lily pad settings plugin, you can set up your controller button by button. As you can see, I have done it here already. I have a video explaining how to do this. After we have done this, what we'll do then is move to ISO and we'll select no disk. We'll then pick boot. As you can see I have two memory cards, slot 1 and slot 2. When you start the machine first, the reason you want you to come here is because you'll have to format the memory cards as you would if they were new on a PlayStation. So you can use them to save your games. Once you've done this, you'll want to download a game. I'll provide a link where you can pick up games in the description of my video. Once you've formatted your memory cards and you wish to play the game that you've downloaded, it's as easy as going to CD, DVD, ISO selector. As you can see, I have my Final Fantasy X here. In your case, you want to browse that are not in your history. And you can get your games through here. So once you've done this, then you go System, Reboot CD, DVD, Flow. There you have it, Final Fantasy X. As you can see, my memory cards are all set up for me.
definitely complete a game as we would.